Thousands of people are gathering at the Minnesota State Capitol right now for the annual March for Life. Today's march comes on the 51st anniversary of Roe v. Wade, which provides federal protections for abortion rights. Our Pauline Lee joins us live from the Capitol steps this afternoon with their message. Hey, Shayla, yeah, this event was actually supposed to start right now, but we've had marchers out here for the past half an hour or so making loops on the front lawn of the Capitol here. As you can see, just a sea of people out here that have shown up to today's march. Organizers with the group Minnesota Concerned, uh, Minnesota Citizens Concerned for Life say uh, that today's turnout is expected to be one of the largest, if not the largest, that they've had in the 51 years that they've now held this march here at the Capitol. Uh, this also comes as they say more and more people have come to them for help, so much so that they've launched a new outreach initiative called the Center for Pro-Life Minnesota. State numbers show abortion in the state has increased by 20% in 2022, and part of today's event features a display of 12,000 dolls. That represents the number of abortions in Minnesota that year. Uh, the state also projects an even larger increase for 2023. As WCCO has reported in the past, more out-of-state patients have come here to seek an abortion, and since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Organizers say they're hoping to send a strong message with today's march. We want reasonable laws that protect women and protect their children. When a woman says, how am I going to be able to afford this child? She is not asking for a dead baby. She's asking for help. Now, there's going to be a short program that takes place here at the Capitol at about 1230 or so. Some state lawmakers are also expected to be here at the event. As we can expect, abortion is going to come up in this upcoming legislative session as well, which, by the way, Shayla, starts three weeks from today. All right, our Pauline Lee reporting. Thank you so much, Pauline. The upcoming legislative session will likely see an attempt to pass a constitutional amendment to protect abortion rights in Minnesota. Planned Parenthood North Central States launched a patient navigation program after federal abortion protections were ended. Planned Parenthood leaders say it helps thousands of people from states without abortion access get the care they need. We see situations where people's lives are in danger. And so for our staff, it's really important that we are there to really to be whatever they need. And just thinking about nonprofit health care across the board, we're often that safety net. In the past year, Minnesota has established additional protections for abortion access. Governor Tim Walz signed the PRO Act at the beginning of 2023. That stands for Protect Reproductive Options, an act not just for abortion, but also contraception, fertility treatments, sterilization, and other reproductive health care. The governor recently said he was open to putting a constitutional amendment protecting abortion rights on the November ballot.